Hey guys, welcome to Proud Animator. In this video, we are going to learn how to animate a page turn animation in After Effects. So for that, this is the illustration we are going to use in this lesson. And this is how the layers are separated in Adobe Illustrator to prepare the file for animation. I have also shared the illustration file in the link in the description. So collect it from there and follow along with the lesson. So let's jump into After Effects. Let's create a new composition and let's name it page turn. I'm keeping the resolution 1920 is to 1080, keeping the frame rate 30 FPS and a duration of 15 seconds. Press OK to create the composition. Let's import the illustration file and change this one to comp written layer size and import. Let's drag this into the timeline and open the composition. Okay, so let's select all the layers and deselect this one. Page to turn, this is the only layer we are going to work with. So we are going to lock all the other layers, select this layer, convert it into the shape layer, delete the illustration layer, rename it and move remove the outline from the name now we are going to activate the pane behind tool this one the shortcut key is y let's press y to activate the pane behind tool and put the anchor point over here after that we are going to turn this layer into a 3d layer so click on this and then we are going to Turn on the rotation property for that press R to open the rotation property of this layer. Let's put a keyframe to start the animation and we are going to animate only the Z axis. So put keyframe on Z axis and let's jump on to the next 30 frames to get an one second of animation. Let's give it a rotation of 180 degree. All right, and let's move the work area end at this point. For that, press N to move the work area end at the playhead. So right now, it is going to look a bit weird. So we are going to fix it by animating the path of this ship. Before changing the path of the ship, let's select the keyframes and turn this into the easiest keyframes. For that, press F9. And then let's go inside the crop editor and give this keyframe a bit more ease. Let's preview the animation. All right. Now we're going to go inside the path of the ship. Put a keyframe over here. At this point, at the middle, we are going to just change the path of this one and put it over here at this vertex because as you can see this vertex is totally just twisting upside down so we don't want that we want the vertex to be properly aligned so we're going to move it over here and this one over here After that, let's add even more in between keyframes. Let's move this over here, this one over here. Add even more keyframes. And at the end, we are going to again, just align it properly at these two points. And at the end, we are going to properly trace this shape over here. So use the Bezier handles to change the curve of the ship. So this particular path is fully traced. 
this last keyframe is properly aligned but we have we need to add more in between keyframes so at this point we are going to drag this point and put it over here or rather let's put it over here and try to add some in between key in between poses over here try to imagine how the paper would be in between these keyframes we are going to add even more in between frames over here and also try to manage and uh, just keep in mind that this two dots should be exactly at these two corners always let's preview the animation so here there is a very nice twist you can give it like this to get a bit paper effect we can even exaggerate this part even more let's give a slight twist over here as well so that we can get that paper fill let's break the bezier handle over here to get a sharp corner to break the bezier handle we can use this tool convert vertex tool to break the bezier handles let's preview the animation now we can even give some more twist over here as well and fix the in between frames accordingly over here now to add some follow through we can give these keyframes a bit offset let's give a two frame offset and let's preview it and let's check it if we need to add more in between keyframes so over here we can see it is diverting so we need to add some in between frame or fix this frame at this point as well All right, now it's looking even better. So you need to keep in mind that these two points should not diverge from these corners, and these points also doesn't get altered over here. This point over here or this point over here. So that is what you need to keep in your mind while animating a page turn like this. So now we are going to apply shadow effect for this paper. Duplicate the layer two times and select the layers put it below we are going to change the color of this layers to some dark shaded layer because we are using it as a shadow 
let's change the color of this layer so that we can properly distinguish it press u to open the properties with keyframes let's turn off one layer for now and let's offset the keyframes of one layer by two frames and we're going to apply set matte effect on this layer so type in set matte Let's apply the effect and let's turn on just unlock this layers. So one is this page turn. There is this is an extra shape of the page that we have added earlier. And the, here is another extra shape of the page over here, which we have added earlier. Let's lock this one and we're going to select this layer and change this to page turn let's preview it okay you can see some issues over here that is because we have applied we have changed this to an illustration layer whenever you are using set mat on an illustrator layer do remember to turn on the rasterize so right now it is properly working over here and after that at this point we are going to trim this layer bring the layer end over here and let's trim this layer as well and turn on the visibility let's apply set mat on this layer again and change this one to the right side of the page this r page and we're going to offset this keyframes as well by two frames but this time we're going to move it forward and again, do remember to turn on the rasterize. And here it is working again properly. So let's preview the animation. All right, so that is how you can animate a page turn effect in After Effects just within few minutes. So do try it on your own. I have provided the illustration file of this particular illustration. So download it from there and do try it on your own. And do let me know if you have any doubt regarding the lesson. So that is it for this lesson. If you liked it, then make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the lesson, make sure to comment down. I will be happy to help you out. And if you are here for the first time, make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates. Until then, goodbye.